great. It's great to be in Okaloosa County. It's great to be at Northwest Florida State College. I want to thank Dane Eagle, our Secretary of Department of Economic Opportunity, for joining me today for this uh, great announcement. Also, uh, President Stevenson, who's here with us, as well as the Chair of the Board, uh, Lori Kelly. So we appreciate, and I know we've got a lot of dignitaries in the crowd, so I want to thank you all for coming uh, for what's really, uh, I think, going to be a, a great announcement and a great program. We've been doing a lot, particularly this week, and we'll be doing more the rest of the week uh, to highlight initiatives we're doing to help with uh, job growth in the state of Florida, and that involves a lot of it involves infrastructure, uh, but a lot of it also involves workforce training. And if you look at Florida and where we are in relation to, to other states, uh, it's clear where other states really have fallen down over the last year and a half. Florida uh, continues uh, to do better and better. Uh, we're proud of the progress we've made. We know that we have even more to be able to accomplish. Part of what I think when you look at the different things that, that we're offering, you, know, you see a lot of stuff. Uh, people will move from different parts of the country, move different types of businesses here. We see a lot, of course, in finance. We see a lot in aerospace, particularly in Cape Canaveral, which is just incredible what's going on there. Uh, but I really believe uh, manufacturing, logistics, some of these really, really core functions where there's huge demand uh, for, for skilled employees, uh, that what better place to, to have a lot of this base than in the state of Florida? We have a great business environment. You know, we obviously have no, no state income tax, and we won't as long as I'm, I'm kicking. Uh, <laughs> We're ranked uh, number three education week, just ranked our K through 12 schools number three in the country, uh, which is not what it was when I was growing up in Florida. And I know here in Okaloosa, they've done a really good job. So you have good education. We have highly rated state college system, as you all know here. And then we have the number one ranked public university system in the United States, which we've had now for five years in a row. So we're, we're proud of all that. And, and we, we obviously think we've got a lot to offer I think when you look at expanding footprints of things involving manufacturing, logistics, those things are all great uh, if people know that we're committed to not just university education but vocational education. Uh, that is going to end up telling people you're going to have a lot of people that fill a lot of these important jobs. And I know here at Northwest Florida State College, you have things to help people that want to go into the trucking industry. Uh, people be able to, to operate a lot of this, these, these heavy, heavy machines, and that's really something that I think is, is in high demand. And it's not saying that uh, going to a four-year university, a brick and ivy, is bad. It's good for a lot of people, but it's definitely not necessary for everybody or even the best course of action for everybody. And you're finding going into some of these areas like trucking, there's huge, huge demand. I mean, people want, and you can make really good money right out of the gate and never have to go deep into, into debt like so many other, my generation, everyone would say, if you don't go to college, you're a failure and all that. That's just not true. And so we want to give people the opportunity to, to fulfill whatever pathway appeals to them. But we certainly don't want to be telling people that going down some of these roads where you have vocational and skills training, that somehow that's like not as good because in reality, it can be very, very good and there's a huge demand. And so uh, you will be able uh, to do well in life. So today's announcement really builds off that insight. It builds off what they've already done at Northwest Florida State College. So we are announcing through my Job Growth Grant Fund, see? <laughs> How, how, how great is the, the announcement? So we're, we're announcing through our my the Governor's Job Growth Grant Fund for Northwest Florida State College, $2.8 million to fund a new diesel mechanic training program. And so you obviously have a demand for people that, that operate and, and, and will drive. Uh, but what we're seeing is commercial diesel vehicles, uh, they have nearly 70% of all freight shipped in the United States. Is, uh, is carried by these vehicles. So there's a high demand not only for people to operate the vehicles, but people that can repair and, and maintain the vehicles. And so here in Okaloosa County, uh, we think there'll be uh, close to a 20% uh, increase in demand over the next five years, uh, which is more than the national average because there's so much going on in the state of Florida. And these are jobs here in Okaloosa and Walton 
uh, you're making 60 plus thousand dollars a year uh, if you're doing this type of, uh, of work. So we think that it's something that builds off what they've already done here at Northwest Florida State College. And I think it's something that's meeting a clear demand and a demand that's not going away. And we're gonna be able to provide uh, young people opportunities to be able to go into this and do very, very well for themselves. And so I'm excited about what's been going on in the state of Florida, but particularly Northwest Florida. I mean, I'll tell you, um, you came here, I remember coming here last summer and you saw plate, Texas plates, Louisiana plates, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Georgia, because like, you know, people weren't flying as much like last summer in particular, 2020, but they all seem to end up you know, in, in the panhandle somehow. So uh, we were, were happy that people were able to, uh, pr we protected a lot of jobs here, we protected a lot of businesses, and people have been able to do very, very well as a result. And the secret is kind of out on, on the panhandle. Uh, you know, some people, didn't necessarily know. I mean, I think more and more, particularly with it being such a destination over the last year and a half, uh, that's going to mean people come visit, they see, then they start getting other ideas. Hey, you know, maybe this is a place I should invest in. Maybe we should move here, all these other things. So I think you're going to see a lot of great stuff coming up uh, over uh, in the future. And what we're doing in Florida, our goal is to be number one in workforce education by 2030. We were, when I became governor, we were in the bottom half of states. Uh, we're now doing better and better. Uh, this goal is really, really significant. And since 2019, when I became governor, we actually have increased enrollment in post-secondary career and technical education by nearly 50%. So we're proud of that. We've added 50 new apprenticeship programs. You know, that's the thing. It's like, like learning in, in this environment is great. It's important. But also, you learn on the job. Now, if you're a senior in high school and there's demand in, in your community for a certain thing, I want them going their senior year being able to work in the afternoon and developing these skills. And then there, guess what? If you work hard and you do it, you're gonna get offered jobs and so you'll have that opportunity. And we've also awarded over 15,000 more industry certificates uh, last year than we did in 2019. And so even as COVID hit, it really threw a lot of, lot of different stuff uh, for a loop. Uh, we said we need to make sure we're continuing to be there for folks. Obviously, K-12, we made sure they were open. But just even in these types of things, we kept it going, which is really, really good. Uh, so the result is we haven't missed a beat. And in fact, we're continuing to do better and better. And the, the interesting thing about this, particularly in the high schools with these industry certifications, there'll be kids who will be certified in like aircraft maintenance or welding, depending on part of the state and what's offered but they'll also be taking like AP English and stuff. So they could, they have college track too. So it's not mutually exclusive. And then you can make a decision about what's best stuff for you and where you think you wanna go. So I think that this is gonna be great. I, I, I talk to people all the time who are, who are in industry that requires this type of, of freight and transportation. They want people and they're willing to pay. And they have to pay because there's, there's a demand for it. So we're really meeting a demand and I'm excited about what's going on. We're gonna to continue to, uh, I think, hopefully see a lot of good, good private sector job growth in Florida. I mean, I'm concerned about some of the things you see uh, coming out of Washington, all the inflation, you see all these problems with, with the shipping and not being able to get goods. You don't even know if the kids are gonna to get toys for Christmas. I mean, that's obviously a big problem. We, you know, we've said our ports, we'll, we'll handle it and we'll make sure we get things out. Um, the gas prices are going up tremendously. That's hurting a, an awful lot of people. And so we're pushing in the right direction. You know, those are some headwinds but I'm confident that if we continue with good policy and we continue to empower uh, folks like here at Northwest Florida State who are really gonna help uh, our next generation, uh, I'm confident Florida can, can beat back some of those headwinds. So I want to, we actually usually give like a big life-size check. Unfortunately, we left it on the plane. And so, <laughs> but I am gonna have, if you all wanna come, maybe we'll just do a picture all right. and then you can say a few words. And so if you guys wanna come here and Maybe I'll just do like a thumbs up and so who's going to take it? You want all the board to come up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm one of yours. I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay. We got, can everyone, are we okay? Yeah. All right. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up.